<laughs> they were once the closest of friends, as well as brothers. Prince Harry in the black uniform served as best man at his older brother's wedding a decade ago. William returned the favor seven years later, when Harry married American actress Meghan Markle. But rumors of a rift have swirled since Harry and his bride decamped from Kensington Palace, also home to William and his wife Kate, for quarters on the grounds of the Queen's residence in Windsor. Harry and Meghan, also known as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, later quit royal life altogether and relocated to a decidedly unroyal but reportedly palatial home in California with their son Archie, born nearly two years ago. But simmering tensions broke out into the open last month after Harry and Meghan granted an explosive interview to the Queen of American Television, Oprah Winfrey. Harry admitted that he and William had chosen different paths and revealed that his father, Prince Charles, had stopped taking his phone calls for a period of time. That fateful interview took place as Harry's grandfather, Prince Philip, lay gravely ill in hospital in what was to be one of the final months of his life, further complicating the brothers' relationship. I don't think they can really talk about each other and themselves in the run-up to the funeral of the Duke of Edinburgh. It would also not be appropriate. I think they might just chat semi-formally. I think that's about as far as they'll go. Um, but if Meghan insists that he rushes back straight after the funeral, I don't think there will be a chance to have um, proper, deep conversations, to get things off your chest, to explain why you're upset, both of them. Meghan's interview raised questions of racism in royal circles after she revealed that a member of the so-called firm asked about the color of her unborn child's skin during her pregnancy. The Duchess is of biracial heritage. And that forced William into what appeared to be a most uncomfortable situation. And, and can you just let me know, is the, the royal family a racist family, sir? No, we're very much not a racist family. The brothers will be thrown together again this weekend. They'll walk behind Prince Philip's coffin, a sad reprisal of their roles at their mother's funeral. Princess Diana died in a car crash in 1997 when the brothers were just young boys. But many royal observers believe that it may take more to bring the brothers back together. But it may be that the former close bond, forged of childhood grief, could be restored in the wake of another family loss. But Harry said to me when I was interviewing him for my um, biography, he said that William is the only person he can really trust. And although they might argue and are different personalities, he... Um, he, he really trusted him. He felt if he went and met people, he didn't know if they were liking him for what he was rather than who he was. But they could discuss anything, he and William. Prince Philip will be honored at a ceremonial funeral at Windsor Chapel tomorrow. And while Britons will be thinking about the past, they'll also be wondering if two of the most popular royals can reunite for the family's future. Laurie Laird, Arise News.